The following is a presentation of TFNN. It is now time for the Diagnostic Trading Hour with your host, Daryl Martin. Martin. Hour. Let's check out where the markets are right now. Uh, looks like they're a little bit quiet. Uh, of course, markets getting used to all this news coming in at different times right now. Having to flush everything out of the system this week, get everything caught back up. So right now we got the S and P is up uh, through a little over three points. Right now we got the Nasdaq up fifteen. Russell's currently up a uh, buck forty, and the Dow's up nineteen. So obviously the Nasdaq being the clear big mover of the day right now, still on that tech high. We got gold going on two point two. We got silver is up almost uh, one and a half, a little over one and a half percent right now. We got copper is pretty flat on the day. Oil's down a dollar fifteen. Natural gas is uh, down almost one percent. Corn is is uh, flat on the day, with uh, soybeans being up eight points. We got euro dollar just down a mere four pips. Pound dollar down 19. Aussie dollar down only 14. Euro yen even uh, having a really quiet day, up 46. Got the dollar yen up 42. The pound yen up 35. Dollar cad's up nine, and dollar franc is down at nine pips on the day. Looking on over at the dollar cad, we did have a uh, news report coming this morning. So uh, I don't know if you uh, checked it out. We talked about that last Friday, went over the stats on it. But uh, it is the, uh, you know, the existing home sales is looking at that report as you know, a way to trade the markets. And usually a pretty flat um, trade overall. Usually not a whole lot happening on that trade. And so the idea being going in and look at doing some butterflies. Okay. And uh, we had some pretty decent ranges in here. Let's go ahead and just zoom in on that and see what was our high to low. You can see where I even uh, put these markers on here from the trade right there. But you can go in and we go, okay, well, the you know the binary start trading at 8 o'clock. The report comes out at 8.30. Okay, so again, 8.30 is when the report's actually released. And the existing home sales came in a little worse than expected at 5.29 million on an expectation of 5.31. Um, also, we had a revision. Um, the last number was uh, 5.48 from the previous report. Got revised down to 5.39. So a couple negative things there, but overall really didn't see much of a uh, impact at all. So again, that number came out this morning at 10 o'clock. So again, the market start trading right here at 8 a.m. The number comes out at 10, and what we're looking to do is see a pretty flat market before it. Right now we're getting a flat market after it. So what was the high to the low between 8? And 10. So I'm going to go right over here. We're going to find, okay, that's 8 a.m. Here's the lowest bar since 8. Here's the highest bar leading up to 10 o'clock. We got a mere 11 pips right there on the dollar CAD. So, really a low volatility one that you could have looked at, but there's a, you know, there's a number of pairs we could look at. So, dollar CAD was one of them, um, like I said, it had a 40 pips average range previous to it. It didn't even come near that. 30, uh, 60 minutes, 4, and 20 pips leading right into it. So really a quiet pair overall. Also we can go in, we can look at some of the other pairs like dollar franc, dollar yen, and the reality is this is a very simple strategy to do. You hop in right here, let's go to 8 o'clock. So right around 8 o'clock, and what you're doing is you're looking for one ideally is about as far as part as possible. Like 38 pips would be the maximum amount you'd need. But uh, you, know, you get one that's you know just up here, so if we have a We'll just say uh, right there, the open at 8 a.m. If you were hopping in like right at the open, you would have an opening price of uh, 294. So, you know, 20 pips up, 20 pips down, puts you about 3015, which would have been much higher, which would have been right up here. That's where we had the lines earlier. And then you go on down here, pretty low right there. So you'd basically just buy the lower binary, sell the upper binary, probably buy the lower one for about 15, uh, sorry, for about 85. Sell the upper one for about 15. And it uh, sounds a little odd because you're like, wait a minute, 15? That means like $15 of profit. So why why would I do that? Well, we put the two together. Now you're at $30 of profit. Okay. And remember, now I'm talking single contracts. You can do 5, 10, 20, whatever. But so I'll go in just on one to make it simple. You have $15 of profit when you buy this lower binary. You get $15 of profit when you sell the upper binary if it expires in between the range. But when you do it, it looks insane because you're putting on a trade for $85 risk and $15 of profit. 
Now, remember, if we do that, if we do both sides, now we have a $30 profit on an, on an $80 risk. Okay? So uh, let's see. Is that really how it works out? And you really got to put the math together to help it all make sense. So if I'm going to make 50 if it stays above this line, and um, if I'm going to make 15 if it stays below the line, okay, that's a obviously a $30 profit. Okay? So right here. And uh, so we got $30 of max profit. Now, understand that it can't expire on both sides. Right? It can't expire both above 1.3013 up here and below 1.0274. It can expire above and below that range. It can either expire above it or below it or in between it, but it can't expire above and below the range. So only one side could lose right there. And so if we look at that, and putting all those pieces together, hold on one second, I think I just hit a button. Uh, but if we put those two pieces together, then we go, okay, what is really our max loss on this trade? How would that really play out when we're doing it? Would we really have a $85 total risk? The answer is no. We would not have an $85 total risk on the trade simply because what you're doing is one side could profit, the other side could lose. So let me uh, put those calculators back up there for you real quick. Okay. Throw all these up there. And so if I could lose 85 bucks on one side, but I could make 15 on the other, now this is worst case, then now I have a $70 risk on a $30 profit. Okay, so we brought that down a little bit. Still not really uh, the trade that I want. Okay, so that's my max risk on the trade right there. But can I make it better than that? Okay, can I, can I get a better risk-reward ratio than this? The answer is yes. What I can do is, if it hits, and this is really important. I talk about this whenever we uh, go in, and sometimes we'll do a bunch of butterflies on the air um, if the trade happens to happen at that time. But if we do these, then I would get out if it hits the strike, so approximately at $50. So if I got out at 50 if I went in and I bought, we'll say I bought at 85 okay, over here for a $15 risk. If I bought at 85 and I got out at 50 then I would lose 35 bucks. But then the other side is making, you know, $15. And let's just say we were only able to close it, we closed it out, let's say it was at 5 okay? So, because we're closing it all out at the same time. So I made $10, all right? So worst case scenario there. So I lost 35, but I made 10. So if I, you know, go ahead and go, okay, well, minus 10 from that. So now I have a $25 risk on a $30 profit trade. And that'd be the exact same thing up here. If I went up here, and I went in and I sold for 15 and I bought back when it went higher for 50, I'd lose 35 bucks, but I'm making say $10 on this side, then I'd make, I'd only lose a $25 risk. So by closing it, when it hits the strike, you reduce your risk down to $25. Now I have a little better than a one to one reward to risk ratio on the trade, okay, which is awesome. And I have a high probability trade because statistically it just doesn't move that far. I had the stats, just like I went over those with you last week, and if it stays in that range, I'm able to profit. And also, I mean, the market doesn't have to move. It can stay flat. It can go up. It can go down. It can stay flat. As long as it doesn't go to either one of those strikes, then I can keep this risk-reward ratio going. Now, you could hold it even if it went above it, but you'd really be uh, gambling, hoping you know, that it comes back in. And so I don't really want to do that. I want to be able to close these things down when it comes up on it like that. Um, anytime I'm doing these types of trades. So it's really important that you know you put all those different pieces in there and uh, you know just keep your risk reward in check along the way. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense to you. Uh, you know it's a little bit a uh, different uh, strategy, but it's a neutral strategy. So if you sort of think about you know if you've ever done an iron condor or you know just normal but iron butterflies, things like that, it's very similar except for you're doing it on a very short time frame, you know, a couple hours. And I don't just randomly do them throughout the day when I think the market's going to be flat. I like to do them like pre-news when I know, based on t statistically speaking, that the market is going to actually be flat. So I always want to combine those pieces together, that knowledge, that you know, seasonality, that history, um, and along with the fundamentals. I know what market to look at. I know what markets are flat. And I can combine all that and come up with a trading plan and then execute that plan. So I got to plan it out, and then I got to do it. So hopefully that makes sense, but uh, it's really simple, and it, it makes it a lot easier if you have the scanner. I don't know if you have that, but if you do have access to it or get access to it, 
you can hop over here. And uh, by the way, if you don't have access to Nadex yet to be able to do this, I mean, these are trades we go and you just literally make money on time. So paint drying, market's not moving. You can make money on that. Hop on over to tfn.com, click on Nadex. And on Nadex right here, you're going to go to trading and then demo trading account. Fill in your username, first name, last name, phone number, and email address. Click apply for demo. They'll instantly shoot you an email with a password where you can log in. And you can actually start doing these trades. You can start trying them out. And uh, when you're ready to go live, then click on create account. And uh, it goes, takes about five minutes to go from start to funded. It's only $100 to fund an account. And there's no day trading restrictions. There's no stocks being called or put, you know, called away from your put to you. There's no delivery dates, last trade dates. Uh, you know, you don't have to worry about exercise. I mean, none of this stuff. It's so much simpler. So uh, now I trade the spreads a lot. I trade the binaries a lot. I trade both. It depends on the strategy. For neutral, I'm usually trading the uh, binaries. And so when I expect a neutral market, I go, okay, well, how can I take advantage of not this knowledge, knowing that the market doesn't move that much during that time? And then I'll hop on over here to the scanner, and I'll go to the binary scanner, okay? So we'll choose demo. You can choose live or demo up here at the top, and I'll choose both directions. And I'll say, you know, like within the time I want it to expire. You know, let's say if it's 8 o'clock, I want it to be stuff that's going to expire in the next two hours. I don't need to see everything else. And then I'll select the instrument that I want to trade, okay? And then I'll scroll down here, and it'll show me the ones that expire, say, in the next two hours. And then I can find ones that may line up with the strategy and with the risk-reward parameters. And uh, once I find those, then I'm able to, you know, put in the trade. I go in, I, you know, to simply click a button, and it'll open up the ticket for me directly right there in the Nadex platform, and I can place the order. So it's a, it's a really, like I said, it's simple, but you do have to go through. You have to, you know, learn a little bit, but uh, it's worth it. Because, I mean, right now, what are you doing on Dollar Cat if you're trading that? I mean, nothing, right? So you're bored out of your mind. And uh, so when you get these flat markets, it's good to understand to have these, you know, strategies where you can go in and you can make money when nothing's happening. And then when they're flying and they're volatile and they're going bouncing back and forth, you got different strategies. You know, when news is coming out that you expect big movements on. Then you got different strategies for that. So I go through, I teach a lot of varieties, a lot of different strategies. And people go, which one's the best one? And I'm like, for which market? For what time frame? For what's happening? You know, so, I mean, you have to, it's it's like tell, asking a uh, football coach, what is the best play to use so you can win every game? I, you can't even answer that question. That doesn't even make sense. So, because it depends upon, you know, what what's happening? What team are you playing? What 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 are they good on on defense? You know, so what's what's happening? And so you have to understand the market, what's happening, so that way you can choose the best strategy, the best play for that circumstance. You know, you don't throw a Hail Mary pass when you only have 10 yards to get the goal. So you want to have the right strategy at the right time. And butterflies, great time is pre-news that has stats that it doesn't move too far. So hopefully uh, that will help you out. And we'll be right back. We'll talk about uh, some more stuff like NFP coming up tomorrow. Stay right there. says you can't take it with you. TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done, and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors.
with the launch of Tiger TV. TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Daryl Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. Are you looking for a precision edge in the market? Something that can stack the odds in your favor? Then look into Larry Pesavento's trading newsletter. Patterns, profits, and peace of mind. In each weekly issue, Larry explains what's going to happen in the markets based on the pattern he sees developing and gives you actionable trade ideas based on those patterns. Plus, you'll get his detailed analysis on a variety of markets and sectors, including stocks, treasury bonds, the gold market, oil, the dollar, the Forex market, and more. You'll get access to all the patterns Larry is seeing in the markets, plus the Astro Harmonics and powerful Bradley stock market model that Larry utilizes for less than $5 a day. An extremely potent combination that will give you the edge you've been looking for. Try Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind absolutely free for two full weeks. That's an $85 value. Yours free when you register right now. Get Larry's Patterns, Profits, and Peace of Mind. And get the edge you've been looking for. Investors, Taz Market Research delivers to its subscribers expert commentary on the analysis of 15 different markets each day. Get this invaluable and timely information through the daily market research videos Taz Market Research produces each day before 9 a.m. The video analysis will include reports on currencies, interest rates, indices, metals, energies, grains, and more. You'll be able to gauge where high profitability setups are in each of the markets. Receive a free two-week trial subscription to Taz Market Research videos on the front page of TFNN.com. Daryl takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Folks, we're going back here to the diagnostic trading hour. Now, another unique thing that we had happen today was oil uh, inventories came out today uh, because the government was, you know, shut down last week on Wednesday. And so uh, they went ahead and released that number. And uh, number was positive for inventories, which means negative for oil. So you always want to be looking at that number. Make sure you're not trading counter. I do not like trading. I do not trade counter that number when I'm trading. So when that inventory number comes out, it came out at 4.0 million on an expectation of 3.4. That means inventories are up, so supply is up, which means price usually drops. In most cases, oil will do that. It'll drop. It'll pop down. It'll pull back up a little bit and then keep going again. It's a little tough to trade, but uh, you know because it'll move around quite a bit. And again, some of these analysis that are coming out this week can be a little bit off. It's a little bit weird simply because, you know, these are not the normal times they're released. So all the algos and everything else that are programmed have to all be updated. And uh, so this sort of throws things off. A lot of traders aren't even aware um, and uh, that, you know, that it's coming out. So I just want you to be aware of it so that way you know, hey, like what, what's happening tomorrow, what's happening today. Because if you don't know that these numbers are coming out, they can really hit you in the face. If you're trading oil and you had no idea oil inventories was coming out today, that could really hurt you as a trader because the market can move really far, really fast, and that could be very, very expensive to you. You know, like you think, oh, man, the market's reversing, it's going up, and you have no idea that the report's about to come out, and then it comes out, and then, bam, it just slams against you right there. So we don't want that to happen. And I sort of liken this to getting, um, you know, all your indicators, everything lines up, everything looks really good. 
I had uh, so I go into the doctor and get a healthy checkup, and they're like, "Oh, heart's great. This is great. Blood pressure's great. Everything's great." You walk out of the door, you know, you're going over the parking lot. You don't look both ways before you cross the street, and then, you know, bam, a bus hits you. So that's sort of what, what news is. If you don't know the news is there, it could be the bus that hits you. And so you need to be aware of it, even if you're not trading it, even if you're not doing straddles and strangles and butterflies and all this other fun stuff. You need to be aware of it. So you can either tighten your stops, not take an entry, put on a hedge. You know, you need to, you have to be aware that that's coming up. And because uh, if you went over here and you thought, hey, the market's reversing, it's going long, you weren't aware this was about to come out, and then all of a sudden, you know, the market drops, you know, 50, 60 cents. That could be a $600 move right there. Just bam, in, out, done, and uh, against you. So, uh, whereas if you're aware of it, maybe you're doing straddles, maybe you're doing strangles, maybe you're hedging, maybe you just got out of the way, you know, got out of the market, say, I'll get back in after the report comes out. So, there's nothing wrong with that either. So, what uh, what news we got coming out tomorrow? Okay. Uh, we're going to have Canada Core Retail Sales. That number's coming out tomorrow. So, that brings us back over to the dollar CAD. And uh, we can look at that one. It's not really the biggest mover. Um, only about a little over 40% of the time does it move more than 50 pips. When it does it, it does about a 60 pip move. So it's sort of a 50-50. So not one that I really like to go in and straddle and strangle. But, again, previous to, you could look at some potential trades. The issue with this trade is it comes out at 8.30. Now, usually, okay, usually the uh, core retail sales would be number I would avoid. But we have all these numbers coming out at the same time. So we're going to have like non-farm employment change, retail sales, unemployment rate, average hourly earnings, and core retail sales. So those numbers, those stats on the usual USD CAD core retail sales aren't really reflective of what's coming up with the NFP report. Okay? So there's going to be a lot of things um, obviously affecting the market. This is a huge one. What markets usually move a lot? Now, this is sort of a little bit of a pin-up demand. I think we're going to get a pretty nice move off of it. So what, uh, what are the pairs that usually move the most? Now, all of them, honestly, move quite a bit. The dollar CAD, when this report comes out, about 70% of the time breaks 50 pips and moves about 75 pips. So that number, obviously, added. you add in the core retail sales, that's going to give you a little more volatility. So that's one possibility. But there are some other ones that are much better, okay, um, as far as probabilities and percentages and everything else. Uh, dollar yen, it's like 67% of the time, so it's really not the best one. If I look over at uh, dollar franc, now that's probably my favorite um, on the NFP report. Dollar franc. So you may not, uh, I wouldn't assume that, but uh, when you get the stats put together, you actually find out, hey, you know, within two hours of that announcement, how far does the dollar franc usually move? Well, the dollar franc, a little over 87% of the time over the last couple of years, within two hours of the NFP report, has moved over 100 pips. Okay, so um, it actually has the highest move. It's it's almost 110 pips that usually moves. So it has a very high probability. Now the other two, which I also like as well, but it's good to have a few a few different possibilities. You got the euro dollar. So um, it literally has every time it's moved 100 pips within a couple hours over the last couple of years. And then pound dollar, um, a little over 87 percent time moves a little over 100 pips. So those are the three biggest moving ones. I mean, you're talking 100 pip moves on those contracts. So uh, how do we play that? Well, we'll talk about that when we get back from this break. Has the current market volatility continue to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. 
or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Wednesday, October 30th at 6.30 p.m., Andy Hecht has a special live online workshop for his subscribers to his weekly newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report, called A Roadmap That All Investors Should Use But Most Don't. During this hour-long live webinar, Andy will teach you how to use free and readily available market data to calculate the future expected price range for any asset. It's a simple yet powerful method that every investor should have in their toolbox. The best part is is that you can attend this live online workshop, which will be archived, by simply signing up for a 30-day free trial to Andy's newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report. And this is the last month to lock in the low introductory rate of only $39 a month. This price will be going up by over 25% come November, so now is the perfect time to get in on the action. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to The Technomental Commodity Report today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. All right, so what do we got coming out tomorrow? How can we take advantage of it? That's the big question. What can we do? What kind of trade plan can we put together? Okay, well, like I said, we're going to have the core retail sales and retail sales out of Canada. Usually not a big mover. Usually not a big thing that we trade. But we do have the non-farm employment change and unemployment rate coming out, obviously, among the most important reports released every month. And so what can you do about it? Well, hop on over to the scanner, okay? And you want to click on the spread scanner up here. And this is a pretty cool feature. I want to show you how to do this. Okay, so I put like 0. 0.5... You know, when I'm doing these uh, trades right here, I'm going both directions on them, okay? And I don't really worry about proximity to the underlying at all. And I'll go in and then I'll choose whatever pairs I'm looking at trading, okay? So with the uh, stats I gave you earlier, we're looking at NFP, and we talked about the three pairs that have like 100 pip moves, euro dollar, pound dollar, and dollar franc. So I can go euro dollar, I can click pound dollar, I can then click over here on dollar Frank. Now, understand, I'm in demo, and I'm talking about what to do tomorrow morning, okay? So I'm to make sure you understand that. So your dollar, pound dollar, dollar, Frank. And then I'll scroll on down, and I got all these different choices, okay? Now, I'm going to be looking for low-risk trades. So to get rid of a bunch of these extra choices that I really don't need, 
I'm going to go up here and I'm going to get rid of anything that has really more than a $50 risk. Because I'm not putting, I mean, I only expect the thing to move 100 pips, so I'm not going to risk $100 on the trade. I'd break even if I got out, like, a, you know, that move. So that'll eliminate just about everything for me except for what is actually applicable for trading. So again, to review that with you, I went in, I chose either live or demo, okay? You put 0.5 right there, put a $50 risk, both directions, okay, nothing on the proximity there. And I chose the three markets I'm looking at. Now, you could look at additional ones, too. So uh, I'm just trying to give you the you know the breakdown there. I mean, Aussie dollar usually moves about 60 pips. 80% um, of the time, it moves over 50. Euro dollar uh, moves over a little 100 pips and has done that pretty much every time in the last two years. Pound dollar moves about 105 pips, done it a little over 87% of the time. We got dollar CAD, usually moves about 75 pips. It's done that about 70% of the time. Dollar franc has moved, you know, over almost 110 pips, about 87% of the time it's broken 50 pips. So we got some big moves on the currencies. And now you could uh, select additional ones if you wanted to. But one of the nice things is you're right here and you're selecting this. And instead of having to go over here and pull up euro dollar and then find your expiration and then... You have to go here to dollar cat, you know, whatever you're trading, pound dollar, and then dollar franc. And again, find the expiration. Once you find it, you got to look at it, you got to review it, then you got to click back over to the other one. And I mean, literally, it can get really confusing. So at the same time, I can review all three pairs and look for it, what's called a straddle. All right, so what is a straddle? A straddle is where you don't care what direction the market goes, you just want it to go. Okay, for instance, you would not want to do a straddle when the market's doing this and just going up and down by five or ten ticks. Okay, you want to do it when you think the market's going to move and when you think it's going to move quite a bit. Okay, so you're doing a straddle when you think there's going to be a big move in the market, and you want to know what that expected move is because you want to be able to calculate hey, can I take my profit you know on this trade if it does move that expected move? Well, if we expect the market to move 100 pips from high to low then uh, we'll probably get a pretty nice move on there, which means I can have, you know, I can really keep my risk down, but have a nice profit. I'm usually shooting for one-to-one -one on news. You could go for even more. But as far as the conservative side, I'll be looking for one-to-one. -one. And again, this is on the spreads. Now, why do I do this on the spreads? Like last week on my show, if you caught that, I went over and I did a Google strangle on the binaries. And I went into why and how that works and everything because I wanted to, I guess I did on the U.S. Tech 100, but on the Google earnings release. Well, on this one, we have the NFP release, and these currency pairs have the most consistent, uh, volatile, you know, big moves whenever that report comes out. And I like the spreads because maybe it doesn't go 100 pips. Maybe it goes up 50 pips. But if I only risk, say, $20 on each side, and let's say I it goes straight up, but let's just say this goes up 50 pips, and I lose 20 I'm going to lose 20 bucks on the short side because it went up, but I could make, like, say, 30 pips on the long side. So I could actually still be profitable even if it doesn't hit my profit target. On strangles, on binaries, it has to hit your profit target or you're, you're, basically you're going to lose. Okay? So whereas the spreads, they have actual intrinsic value. It's not an all or nothing at expiration. It's just like if you bought or sold the pound dollar, except in this case we are buying pound dollar and we are selling pound dollar. So how do you make any money? Well, remember, they all have capped defined risk. So if the market goes down, the one I bought stops losing. If the market goes, you know, up, the one I sold stops losing, while the one that's going up is still making money. So let me put this on a chart to help it make a little bit more sense. And I'll just look at an example of like a, say, a three clock one here. So we'll look at this one, or actually, looks like this one's a little bit closer to where the market's trying to get the one that's closest possible. There we go. So we got 6150, and we'll choose that one. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to choose this 6,000 to 6,150 and uh, 6,150 down to 6,300. I'm going to put it on the uh, screen to help it make a little more sense. And I'm going to go over, I'm going to go, okay, well, I need to be looking obviously at a pound dollar chart. So we'll pull the pound dollar up over here. And a lot of times I like to call these box spreads because they look like a box if you draw them on the screen. So let's get everything else sort of down here and out of the way. Give us a little room here to draw. And so let's say the spread started trading at, you know, we'll just say 8 o'clock or whatever. So they came in, they started at 8 o'clock, and then we're going up, and it goes up to 61, let's see, 6,300. Okay, so it's even, actually, i got to bring my screen in a little bit more. So right there, there we go. So 60, 
300. So on this one, yeah, we got that right there, and now it's going to expire at 3. So it's very important you obviously choose one that's going to expire after the news announcement. Um, I deal with as much time as possible, so uh, but with as little risk as possible. So I go in here, and we'll, we'll uh, change the color up to make it, you know, understand, like, this is the one we're buying. Okay? All right, so we're buying this one. If the market goes up, I can be profitable in the trade. And what does it cost me right now? Well, right now it costs me, uh, it's priced at 6160 Okay, so that's the actual price. It's right here. I mean, just barely in there. And it's 6160 Okay, so I mean, literally we're talking a very low risk. Well, what's the floor of this thing again? It's 6150 Okay? So if I want to get this really accurate, and you can even draw these on here. When I first started trading these, I actually used to draw them on the chart to help me keep up with them. And I mean, because it's new, you know, you're learning it, and it just helped, it really helped to see it visually. So, right there, we are, if we're buying at 6160 okay, and our floor of the spread is 6150 that means I can't lose more than 10 bucks on the trade. That's my max risk. So, again, that's 6160 minus the floor. So, that's 10 ticks. 6160 minus 6150 is 10. So, I have a Every pip on Nadex, I don't care if it's pound yen, DAX, euro dollar, dollar yen, S&P, every pip tick, whatever you want to call it, is always worth a dollar. So I have $10 of risk on this trade. If it goes down, I'm down, but I'm not out. So let's say it goes in here, and let's say it shoots down, but then it turns around, and it shoots back up. You know, that never happens on news, right? Flies down, flies up, goes crazy. Okay, so it can shoot down and shoot back up and I'm fine. I'm still in the trade. My trade has never increased over a $10 risk. And people go, well, how, how is that possible? Well, I mean, calls and puts do it all the time. Okay, you do it all the time. If you buy a call on Apple or put on Apple, you have a risk. It could go against you all day long. You only have that max risk. If it goes in your favor, then you could be profitable. Normal, the issue with normal calls and puts is you have a lot of premium in there because you're paying for you know, days and weeks. So with this, you're only paying for hours. So therefore, you have very little premium. So you can get right into the profit part uh, a lot faster. So anyways, it goes down. If it goes up, let's say it goes up 100 pips, okay? And uh, 61.60, so let's say it gets up here at 62.60. Right there, boom, we take profit. Okay, well, if I bought it 61.60, got up to 62.60, then I'd make $100 on the trade, and I'd get you know, $10 back. So I get my $10 risk plus $100 back. I don't have to wait until expiration. I don't have to wait till 3 o'clock. I can get in and get out whenever I want to. Now, okay, well, that's if it goes up, but what if it goes down? Well, there's a spread below that. Remember, we came up here, and we had the 6150 up to 6300. Well, there's one down here, 6150 down to 6000. So now, at the exact same time, not the same spread. Okay, this is a different spread, but the same time, I'm going to sell the lower spread. I'm going to sell the 6150 down to the 6000. And so we'll go over here. You know, we'll choose a some sort of red color if we can find one. Guess tomatoes gonna have to work. All right, there we go. So, what do I sell this one for? I sell it for sixty-one forty-seven. All right, so let's check this out. So sixty-one forty-seven. So right there. So if I sell for sixty-one forty-seven and the ceiling, okay, the ceiling is sixty-one fifty. I'll bring these up so you can actually see them. And I just click the buy or sell there so you can see the ticket. But if I sell it. For 61.47, the ceiling is 61.50. My risk is three bucks. Okay, if I buy this one for 61.60, okay, and the floor is 61.50, my risk is you know ten bucks. Right there, so ten dollars. I don't know how well that comes through. I can zoom in a little bit on it for you, so you can see the ticket. But three dollars. That is my risk. I'm literally going short pound dollar for three bucks. What does that mean? That means I only have $3 of risk. That means I only have $3 of margin. Okay? I'm controlling 10,000 units of currency, which is approximately, I don't know, what is that, 1600 bucks? Uh, no, 16000 Sorry, $16,000. Okay? So 10,000 units of pound dollar there. So a major amount of leverage. I mean, that's just insane leverage. And, you know, let me show you what I mean by that. If you go in here, because remember, every tick on the spread, you're making a dollar. Okay, so if I go in and I say, okay, well, I got 10,000 units of currency times 1.6147, because one pit being one tick is like doing a 10,000 unit, or what's called a mini-watt in FX. 
So that's sixteen thousand dollars. If I was doing this on the spot forex market, I'd get a fifty to one leverage. And so that would be three hundred and twenty two percent leverage. Okay, uh yeah, three hundred twenty two percent. So right here Oh no, but sorry, that'd be three hundred twenty two dollars. I'm sorry. On the spot FX at a fifty to one leverage, that exact same trade would cost you three hundred and twenty two bucks in margin. So if I go over here, um, and that's fifty to one leverage. So if that's if I went long pound dollar or short pound dollar, okay, three hundred and twenty two bucks. If I go over here I go, okay, times one point six one four seven. And now we divide that by three. Yeah, I mean it's just it's like it's five thousand to one leverage, it's insane. Um, so you're getting massive leverage. You have capped risk. If the market goes down against you on this or it goes I guess in this case, let's say it goes up, you went and you sold this one. It goes up first and then goes down. I'm only gonna be down three bucks on the short side. If it comes down a hundred pips, you know, let's say below where I uh, sold, I could buy it back. If I sold at 61.47, let's say it came down to, uh, what would that be? 61.47, so that would be uh, 60.97. Then, or actually be lower than that, uh, be 60.47. Yeah, so if it came down to 60.47, and it's right right above this one and a half deviation line, if it actually went that far, and these deviations will be bigger tomorrow with NFP, but if it uh, went that far, then I could take profit off, even though it spiked up and then came back against me. Okay? So what happened on the long? Let's say it went down, I took profit off, it stayed down. Well, I lost 10 bucks, but I made $100. Let's say if it spiked down and went up, but I made 100 bucks up here because uh, it went up 100 pips, I took it off, I took my profit, and uh, this one, well, lost 3 bucks down here. So I netted 97 bucks. All right? If it uh, went up, let's say I netted 90 bucks if it went down. I think either scenario is pretty good there, right? So that's one way to play. You just go in, put it on. Now, What's really important is that you do have a take profit plan because these things can really fly up and down on you. The other thing that's really important is when you're basically max loss on a trade, there is no reason. There is literally no reason to exit the trade. Okay, so let's say you're in this trade and it flies down. There's only $3 profit or a dollar of potential value in it. Leave it on because by the time it expires, it may actually come back in the money where you could be profitable. So it may fly down. You may take your 100 pips and then, you know, what may happen next is the market could, you know, just sort of inch its way back up here, and you could actually end up making money or at least breaking even on the other side, which would mean more money in your pocket. So you could make money. Pretend, and I have done it sometimes. I'm not going to say it happens a lot because a lot of times the market will just go in one direction. But if it's just being a really volatile up and down day, you can put these straddles on. They go up. You make some money. If it goes back down, you can break even or make some money. And, uh, you know, it's just one of many ways to uh, play. So... Hopefully that helps you on understanding the basics of a straddle. Now, when you get in, what you're going to need to do, so let's just mimic this trade as if we're doing it, okay? Obviously, this isn't the trade. But let's say tomorrow comes and um, you're going to have, you know, at 8 a.m., these things are going to be available. Now, you could do strangles that expire at 11 because they start trading earlier in the morning. So if you want to get in earlier, you could do that. Uh, the only issue with that is just be aware that, of course, it has to hit your profit target, Okay. Now, if we go in here and let's say we sold this one and we bought this one, okay, then we'll talk about how to set your take profit orders when we get back. So that's how you get in. Your risk obviously being 13 bucks, okay, so very small risk. When we come back, we'll talk about how do you get out of the trade. Stay right there. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investment strategy. You're always looking for the next trading opportunity to magnify your perspective. Direction Shares connects sophisticated traders with a powerful array of ETFs from a wide range of asset classes. The markets may go up and down, and you want tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor, Foresight Fund Services, LLC. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long Long term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light speed world of ever evolving high tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Are you ready to ride the next bull market wave? Catch the Chapman Wave. Using the Chapman Wave methodology, Basil's very comprehensive daily newsletter, The Opening Call, gives the short, intermediate long-term analysis for the key indexes. In his Trader's Corner, he gives a brief market summary and expectation for the day with possible trades, both long and short, which are reviewed daily. A position subscribers sold recently for a 42% on part, plus a 64% on rest, at Hertz Global as a core position for six months before exiting the position. A current position entered as a turnaround company with good technicals based on Basil's waveform is trading up to 170% of its entry point as a portion sold earlier for a 21% gain. Subscribers to the opening call can see the Chapman Wave techniques demonstrated and explained daily to educate investors. To get your two-week free trial to the opening call, just visit the front page of TF. FNN.com. Also, don't miss Basil's program, The Tiger Technician's Hour, Monday through Friday at 11 a.m. Eastern on TFNN. TFNN has just announced a special sale for two weeks only for the Gold Report. To celebrate the 600th weekly issue of Tom O'Brien's Gold Report being published on October 22nd, TFNN is having a special one-time sale. From now until October 22nd only, you can receive 60 weeks of the Gold Report. That's 14 months for only $600. We're offering Tom O'Brien's dynamic weekly newsletter at only $10 a week, which is almost half off the regular monthly price. The Gold Report is published every Tuesday and provides subscribers with Tom O'Brien's expert commentary on the industry, as well as detailed information on a variety of mining equities. Take advantage of this one-time special offer and pay only $600 for 60 weeks of The Gold Report. This offer is valid for current or new subscribers. Everyone is welcome to take part in this special promotion as we celebrate the 600th weekly issue of The Gold Report. All the details are on the front page of TFNN.com. Join David White as he keeps you up to date on the latest tech stocks while he uses his Power Law Vector Indicator to identify the best trades. The Power Trading Hour, next on TFNN. Okay, so real quick, before we hop into the take profit, I want to remind you, we have three markets, not just pound dollar, okay? So if we go down here, we look at dollar franc. And one thing I want you to really notice happening right here on the dollar franc, okay, are the similar risk and reward scenarios that are available. So when you're looking at this, you go, you know, wait a minute. Uh, if all these are available, then which one should I do? Because, you know, sometimes that gets a little complex. Which one should you do? Well, let's check this out. I want to zoom in on here so you can really see this. And notice, I can buy the 9020 to 9120 that expires at 2 o'clock, or I can buy the 9020, 9120 that expires at 3 o'clock. Both, they're the same thing. Okay? Uh, just one started at 1 and went to, or one started at 12 and went to 2, one started at, uh, you know, 1 and went to 3. 
They have the exact same risk. They have the exact same distance to break even. They have the exact same profit potential. So why would I choose the one that has less time with no additional benefit? So if all things are equal, choose the one with the most time. Okay, if risk is equal, reward is equal, and time is greater, then you know, choose choose the one with the most time. Now what if everything's equal but profit is higher? Well choose the one with the most profit potential. So sometimes you'll see that as well. Um, even down here on the short side, we see one that has four minutes and one that has 64 minutes. It's basically one dollar of risk difference, six dollars versus seven dollars. You're going to choose the one that's seven dollars, okay, because you get another hour for the trade to actually develop in your favor. So you want as much time as possible with as little risk as possible. And so when we choose those two, we could go in and again, we just click buy right there, and that'll open the ticket up for us. And then we'll click, you know, so we'll get that one up here. And uh, we put that back to normal size. But if we go in, we can buy that one. We can sell the one below it. Again, I'm just doing these as examples for you. So that way, you know, you know how to, you know, put them on when tomorrow comes. But we put that one on, and then we'll go in and we'll click sell on this one. When that button pops up, then we can sell that one. And there we go. So we bought and sold both of those. And then we go down here and we hit Euro Dollar. Notice I'm not flipping all around. I'm not looking at, by the way, you never would have seen this if you weren't flipping, like if you were using the scanner, because you had to flip between all these different similar expiration times. So really trying to avoid, you know, looking at multi, basically having to flip around a whole bunch when we don't need to um, on these different markets. So right there, that one was for, you know, dollar franc. So if we look right over here at the dollar franc, you, know, you have all these expiration times that can easily collide, like the three o'clocks. So on the intradays and dailies, can easily come up on each other, and you'd have to flip between all the different ones in order to see it. So where's the scanner showing you all the three o'clock, the intradays and dailies at the same time? Uh, so we go on down here, and now we got Euro Dollar. We can see if we can find one that has a low risk. That's usually I'm just gonna go straight to the most time right there. So we got 36.83, and then we'll find one with a uh, 39.30. So now we want to find one with a similar ceiling. So like right there. Very low risk, massive profit potential, two hundred forty-five dollars. That's a great trade. So again, we grab those. So I'll click buy on this one. It'll pop the ticket up for me over here on the other screen, and that'll allow me to actually initiate the ticket. I hit once it pops up. I just hit place order. I hit sell over here. Now sometimes I'll have several of these open and ready to go because it takes a second for the ticket to load. But what it does for you is it actually fills all the information in, like your size and price and everything. So we fill that in. We get all those positions going. Now, the next thing is we got to manage our, you know, take profit positions over here, which can be a little bit challenging uh, when you're doing this. Because if I'm over here and I'm on Nadex and I'm looking at my open positions and I start trying to go in and put in prices, I can easily get confused. And so let's say if I expect a 100 tick move up or down, then I can go over here and I'll simply go, okay, well, what price did I buy at? And I'll add, say, 100 ticks to that. So 36, you know, I'll add, literally go in, whatever the opening price was, just add 100 ticks and uh, put in my cell and vice versa on the cells, I'll just invert it. Anyways, we'll do a walkthrough of that trade again tomorrow and talk about how it moved and uh, go through it all, but hopefully I'll pick up a few tips. Check out the scanner today if you want to check it out. Y'all have a great day. What's the one thing that pulls people back from the breakthrough that they're moving towards? What's the only thing that really stops people from taking action? You and I both know the answer, and sure, we can come up with the reasons why we're not where we want to be, but the only reason that we don't do more with our life is fear. Or if you're an overachiever, call it stress. Simply put, there's something that happened to us in our past that's holding us back from the life we deserve, yet you and I are okay, we're here. So why should we let our past control our future? Exactly. We shouldn't. Hi. I'm Steve Rhodes with TFNN.com, and when it comes to your trading and investing, I can help you overcome your fear of loss. Together, we'll turn weakness into strength with a system I've developed called Mastering Probability. I'll teach you how to make your money work harder for you than you do for it. I'll teach you the tools that provide financial freedom. Go to the homepage of TFNN.com, click on my name, Steve Rhodes, and begin your journey of mastering probability risk-free. It's time to become a pioneer of your future versus a prisoner of your past.